Call out Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Akadash. Back at Yahweh, back at Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Back at Yahshuala, back at Yahweh. Call out, call out, Shalom, Shalom, Halawaya, Halawaya. Double honor to the apostle and elders of the great millstone, pushing and teaching the truth of sincerity, and overseeing the construction of the tabernacle of David, a more perfect tabernacle. Shalom to the Aki and Wild Bafi and scattered abroad. Shalom to the civil believers. This is Yahweh Sat by Yahshuala by Yahweh. Coming to you live through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Ashai. To give you another quick lesson. Um. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna grab a quick scripture for me. Proverbs chapter 24. Um, hmm. I'm going to hit 24 and 3. That, that really just kind of popped out. It says, um, The wisdom is in house, build it, and by understanding it is established. And by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. A wise man is strong. Yeah, a man of knowledge increases strength. For by a wise counsel thou shalt make thy war. Both physically, uh, physically, mentally, and spiritually. By wise counsel thou shalt make thy war. You know, in this particular verse, it's, it's talking about physical, you know, marching out with the troops and the platoon stuff going to work. But this is the spiritual war we, we're in, you know what I'm saying? Ultimately, he says, um... The, uh, one of Paul's writings, I think it's in Ephesians, he says, for we wrestle not against blood, uh, flesh and blood, but um, principalities and uh, spiritual wickedness in high places. Uh, that's ultimately the war we fight right now. And it says, um, for, for by wise counsel thou shalt make thy war. In the spiritual war that we're fighting against the so-called, uh, against Satan, who works through his um, physical counterpart, the devil, who is known as um, the deceiver. And the biggest deceiver on the earth is the so-called white man, who biblically is known as the Edomites, Esau, Idumia, Amalek. Um, they're the biggest deceiver on earth, and that's who we're at war with, both physically and spiritually, the so-called Edomite. And it says, and in multitude of counselors, there is safety. And that's important because it says in, in multitude of counselors, not just having one person... And a lot of times, you got to have a lot of people you can confide in and a lot of people you can go and talk to. You know what I'm saying? Even I got to take that person in myself. Like, and, and a multitude of counselors, there is, there is safety. Because why? When you surround yourself with, um, when you surround yourself with, with wise people, people with knowledge and understanding, you know, um, knowledge, good knowledge and understanding, you're, you're, there's, there's preservation in that. And, um, I think Proverbs also speaks about that. Um, Take that one, or oh, I'll just keep that one. I'll keep that one if I can find something like that. Oh, no, I can say I can get I can get Proverbs 3. Oh, this is Proverbs, um, this is Proverbs 3 and um, 19. The Lord by wisdom hath founded the earth, by understanding hath he established the heavens, by his knowledge the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. Repeat this, my son, let not that, them depart from thy eyes, keep them keep sound wisdom and discretion, so shall thy so shall they be life unto thy soul and grace to thy neck. Then shalt thou thou walk so I can, then shalt thou walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. Going back to what it says in um 24, 24 and 7, uh, 24 and 6. 
For by thy wise counsel thou shalt make thy war, and in multitude of counsels there is, is safety. In Proverbs 3 and um, 20, 23 says, um, ultimately in context it's talking about knowledge and wisdom, but it says in 3 and 23, then shalt thou walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. That's, that's important. That's, that's why it's so, it's so important, not only to understand what you're talking about, that's with anything. It's, um, it's a saying that money talks and bullshit walks. Well, this says right here um, in Proverbs 3 and, and 12, 3 and 13, Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and that man that getteth understanding. Why? For the merchandise of it is better than merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. So in this case, the money talks bullshit walk. Well, this Bible, this wisdom and understanding, this knowledge, that's what's talking. The rest of those doctrines is, is, is gone. You know what I'm saying? All those other doctrines, uh, Christianity, Islam, uh, Egyptology, Kemetic Studies, Scientology, all these other doctrines have not done anything to uplift the black community. And, at least in my eyes, and that's just a matter of opinion. But it, it, this Bible, it, it's, it, if you understand this Bible 100% and you worship the Father in truth and sincerity, but it, it says, Then thou shalt walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. It says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run it in. And are safe. I think the book of Psalms says that. It might be, it might be Psalms 20. This is Psalms 20 and 1. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary, sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Um, this, this is part 20, uh, Psalms 20 and 6. Now, now know I that the Lord saveth his anointed. He will hear from his holy heaven, from the saving strength of his right hand. Peep this. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. That's important. Because the book of Proverbs, um, the, book of, the book of Proverbs says, that the, um, the beginning of knowledge is the fear of the Lord. And the, part of, and the part of the beginning of knowledge is, is knowing his name. Uh, peep this. Um, it might be Psalms, Psalms 18. I'm just going, I'm going to go back to the point. Um, like it says, um, For by a wise counsel, thou shalt make thy war, and the multitude of counsels there is safety. Now peep this. Wisdom is too high for a fool. And he opened his, his mouth not in the gate. He said, Wisdom is too high for a fool. It's too high for a fool. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of people can't. They can't. I mean, they, they can't get it. They they can't they can't get it. Not not even speaking about the, the scriptures. They can't get any 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 other thing. You try to you try to tell them any anything. Client, it, it don't even have to be about the Bible. You try to you try to uh, the Book of Psalms. Says, the Book of Psalms says. Oh, I'm I 
think it's, I think it's Psalms, man. This is Psalms 14 and 1. The fool have said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. The Lord looketh down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and see God. They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. Be this. Have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge who eat upon my people? Who eat up my people as they eat bread and call not upon the Lord. There were they in great fear, for God is in the generation of the righteousness. Let me just, just, to, just to make the point more concise and precise. Proverbs 3 and 22. How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity and the scorners delight in our scorning and fools hate knowledge? And fools hate knowledge. That's that's a very important point. Fools hate knowledge. And it says in um 24 and, and 7, you know, wisdom is too high for a fool. Why? Because fools hate knowledge. Wisdom is too high for a fool because they hate knowledge. They don't want to be corrected. They don't want to be taught right. Me personally, in my opinion, I feel like I, I can I can be corrected. That's I mean yeah I might that's how I feel. I feel like I can be corrected. And other people might feel otherwise, but I feel like I can be corrected. That's a, and that's another thing. A lot of people a lot of people just be talking, just to talk. So this is Ecclesiastes uh, 2 and 12. It says, um, And I turn myself to behold wisdom and madness and folly. For what can the man do that cometh after the king, even that which have been already done? Then I saw that wisdom excelleth folly, as far as light excelleth darkness. The wise man's eyes are in his head, but the fool walketh in darkness. And I myself perceive also that one event happeneth to them all. Then I said in my heart, 
as it happened if to the fool, so ha so it happened if even to me. And why was I then more wise? Then I said in my heart that this is, is vanity. For there is no remembrance of the wise more than of the fool forever, seeing that which now is in the days to come, I shall be forgotten, and how dieth the wise man as the fool. And that's that's important because what he's talking about right right here is how we all we be tripping sometimes. All of us be tripping sometimes. Cause see what he says. Uh, then I saw that wisdom excelleth folly as far as light exceedeth darkness. The wise man's eyes are in his head, but the fool walketh in darkness. And I myself perceived also that one event happened to them all. You know, hey, we all be tripping. We all be slipping sometimes. We all get caught slipping and tripping. But the important, the important thing is, is Proverbs chapter 24 and um, 14. Tw 24 and 16. Um, For a just man falleth seven times and rises up again, but the wicked shall fall into uh, mischief. You know what I'm saying? And that's important because, like I said, you know, we all be tripping. We all go astray sometimes. But the the, the, the just man, the wise man, the, the, the righteous man, he keeps getting back up. And, and, and understanding when he falls, he gets back up with, with the knowledge of what made him stumble. You know what I'm saying? And it says the fool falls into mischief. The fool continues... They say that insanity is doing the same thing over and over and again and expecting a different result. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 why it's important. Um, that's that's why it's it's important to have wise counselors. You know what I'm saying? And wise wise counselors um, in a multitude of counselors, there is safety. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's important, man. In a multitude of counselors, there is safety. And I also just just as, just to back that up on the other side, you gotta watch who you getting advice from, cause sometimes people might have an ulterior motive. Sometimes people be uh, people don't know what they talking about. That's why you gotta test every spirit. You gotta sometimes you gotta take things with a grain of salt. But sometimes some some people be actually be speaking real stuff. But it says peep this. It says that wisdom is too high for a fool. It's something they can't reach, something they can't fathom or comprehend. That's why it's, that's very that's why it's very important. You know what I'm saying? Got to got to divide the word, um, divide the word correctly. With that being said, I'm just be like, bro, it's, it's a war going on out here. Y'all folks need to keep your head on a swivel. With that being said, I'm going to say Shalom.